Tanya, how about at uh, EPA? You want to give us a specific example of yes. a program you'd like to highlight? Sure. So, so staying on that mobile uh, mobility and mobile workforce, uh, many of us were faced with needing to quickly make adjustments and adopt to um, the closure of government facilities due to the pandemic. So on any given day, our employee, we'd have maybe 15% of our workforce teleworking and moving to 100% required adjustment. We had to um, really short up licensing and re relook at and take another uh, evaluation of the safeguards we had in place to help our users protect themselves from themselves. Because when you're working from home, sometimes those rules and regulations that you're following in the office kind of go by the wayside. So we had to quickly um, expand our virtual private network capability. Uh, we had to look at ways to um, do monitoring of our devices that were non-networked. So up until the pandemic, we were focused on uh, in office network protections. We then had to deploy solutions to our devices when they were not connected. Uh, so we deployed data loss prevention tools. We deployed um, the virtual private network as I spoke about, but we also focused on web content solutioning to identify any malicious um, attempts at from websites that our users were going to where they traditionally did not, but then also blocking that malicious traffic. So we had to really focus on the endpoints that were working remotely. And we did a pretty good job at that. We also had to focus on addressing those vulnerabilities that were now newly introduced to our environment from our users going to websites they did not traditionally go to. So we deployed some remote sensors to those devices, brought them into the network fold, and then really started to uh, help and decrease the number of vulnerabilities that were now being introduced due to the remote workforce. Sounds like a